Yo, yo, what's poppin'? What's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy, the dating game was good. So in this video, I wanted to talk about how when guys are outcome dependent, right, it messes up their game. So what that means is a lot of dudes, they'll approach a girl, they'll talk to a girl, they'll try to go on a date with a girl, have sex with her, whatever it is, right? And they have an expectation. So they would say, oh, when I approach this girl, you know, I'm hoping that she's going to give me her number, that she's going to, you know, talk to me and all these other different things, right? So they're depending on that situation to play out how they have it in their head. And then they say, oh, if it does it, if it happens this way, I'll be happy. If she gives me her number, I'll, I'll feel good. If she doesn't, then I'll feel bad and all this other stuff, right? Now, when you're outcome dependent, that messes up your game because now what you're doing is, is that you're expecting things to happen and you expect those things to make you happy, to make you feel good and all this other stuff, right? So the best way to go about the game is to basically not depend on the outcome, right? To do what you have to do and not really care what happens after you do what you do. Now, the hard part about this is that, you know, certain people get confused when you talk about this because they say, well, if I want a girl, if I want to get chicks, if I want to have sex, you know, I have that desire. So how am I not going to be dependent on the outcome if the outcome is what I actually want? So I need to depend on the outcome or I need to want that outcome in order to get what I want in order to, you know, get that feeling and be happy and feel that sense of well-being and get the shit done, right? See, now the thing you got to understand is this, is that you can have that desire to go out there and talk to the girls. Like, there's nothing wrong with having the desire. But the thing is, no matter what the outcome is, right, you should not feel a certain way, meaning you should not really get upset because of the outcome, right? So you can desire to approach a woman and want to actually get her phone number. But if you don't get the phone number, you shouldn't make that get you stressed out and frustrated, right? See, the thing is you can you can control what you do, which is approach the girl. But after that, it's sort of like, you know, it's, it's, it's just, it is what it is, right? But the thing is, is that if you are being outcome dependent and dependent on the outcome for your happiness and your sense of well-being, what's going to happen is, is that you're going to be scared to actually go up and approach women and talk to women because you might say, well, I'm not going to do it because if I don't get her number, then shit's not going to really, you know, go the way I wanted it to go. But if you're not dependent on the outcome, right, then you will freely go and do these things because it doesn't matter what happens, right? So you're, you're okay with any outcome. So if she gives you the number, cool. If she doesn't, cool. It doesn't really matter, right? So you have the desire. You could want that. But the thing is, if you don't get it, you don't make that ruin your fucking day. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like if you're going to like a restaurant or some shit and you wanted to get, uh, you know, some cheesecake and they ran out of cheesecake. You're like, hey, can I get a cheesecake? And you're expecting this cheesecake because you've been thinking about cheesecake all day. You're like, all I want is a cheesecake. And they say, oh, I'm sorry, we ran out of cheesecake. And you're like, okay, that, damn, that's the only store in the spot. So, okay, since I ran, you ran out of cheesecake, give me a, a chocolate cake, whatever. You understand? So the, the outcome doesn't affect your day or doesn't affect your, your mood or get you upset or piss you off, right? Because then if you know how to do that, if you know how to practice this type of stuff, then it'll be easier for you to approach girls. It'll be easier for you to talk to girls. It'd be easier for you to close a deal. It'd be easier for you to interact with them because you are not held or, or, or you know, you're, you're not like controlled by the outcome. You understand? The outcome doesn't affect you, right? So you're free to do as you please and do whatever you want and say whatever you want and, and just, just be free to interact without having that pressure of trying to make things work all the time. Right? And the funny part is by doing that, that is what usually makes the shit work. Because the more that you're relaxed, the more that you're like, hey, it is what it is, then, you know, you bring that energy, that vibe, and then it's like when chicks see that or when they, you know, chill with you and, and, and deal with you, that's more attractive because you be, you become a man who is, you know, cool, calm, and collected, who under, understands himself, who's not really you know, acting thirsty, who's not nervous. You understand what I'm saying? And then you can make these things happen, all right? So guys, do not become, you know, outcome dependent. If you do your thing and not depend on the outcome, then, you know, your shit will be a little bit more tight. Your game will be tighter. You'll be making more progress. You feel me? So guys, make sure you go to a uh, bad boy membership where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video tutorials every month. And I'll holler at you later. Remember the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone.